Take a look how to create this stacked text effect in Affinity Designer. You can start with text like this and make it look like this. I was looking through popular fonts on Creative Fabrica and I found this one for creating stacked text. It has almost 6,000 likes, so I thought it must be pretty good. And this style is always trending, so I decided to give it a try. However, after taking a closer look at it, I think it's far too much trouble to deal with. Let me show you what this font does because it might be something you see in other fonts. And then I'll show you a better alternative. So I'll download this font and install it. I'll extract it here. And you can see there's two different versions, simple stacked and triple rainbow. I'll select both of them. I'll right click, I'll choose install. And now that I'm here in Affinity Designer, let's check them out. I'll select my artistic text tool here. I'll type the word stacked. And let's change it to the simple stacked font. So with my text selected, I'll select the fonts up here and I'll choose simple stacked. And you can see what this font has done. I didn't copy the row four times. In fact, each letter has a glyph that shows four characters on top of each other. You can see that the flow of the letters doesn't really represent what the thumbnail shows. Now to see what a font really contains, we can look at the glyph browser. We can access that through window, text, glyph browser. And if you're not sure what glyphs are, glyphs are the images that represent a character in a font. And the glyph browser lets us browse all the images for those characters, including the alternate images. So let's scroll through this font here, simple stacked, and we can see what the strategy here is for the font. Every single glyph is four characters stacked on top of each other. Furthermore, their characters have different wave patterns on them. So sometimes the same letter appears twice, but it has a different wave going on it. So I guess the idea is that we're supposed to mix and match the letters such that the wave pattern flows. Now for me, that just sounds way too painful to deal with. I don't really wanna look through this font and try to find the exact letters that will match the flow of each other. Let's look at how we can manually create this effect ourselves. First, let's find a good font to work with. I'll just search Creative Fabric here. And I've seen this font style called Groovy or Retro before. Let's type in Groovy, I'll hit enter. And you can see you have many cool results here. I like this one called Groovy Rainbow, so I'll download it and install it. Let's take what we typed here and let's change the font to Groovy Rainbow. So I'll select my drop down here and I'll choose Groovy Rainbow. Let's resize it. To create that bending effect, I'm gonna use a tool called Mesh Warp. So with my text selected, I'll click this icon here, Warp Group, and I'll select Mesh. This is the most basic mesh. And now you see this grid appears over my text and I can select different points and I can move them around. I can also add points. So if I click here, I added a new column of points there. Maybe I'll add some there and some here. Now, if you click off your text and you wanna edit those points again, make sure to click your warp group over here in the stack. So I'll click that and the points are back. Also make sure you have the node tool selected. So let's start warping the points here. I'll select these, I'll drag it down. I can bend these lines here. Maybe these points I wanna punch up a little bit. We can make kind of a wave here. Now let's create the second row. I'll alt and drag down. I'll change the color again. And I'll drag the points. So I'll click on the node tool and let's drag this up here. Let's do our third row. And let's do our fourth row. Now maybe this one, it's easier to start from scratch again. With the warp group selected, I can just click reset here and I'll move it over my text and I'll bend it from there. So these ones are down here. And here we have the result of our mesh groups. Now we can do some touch-ups to this. This will allow us to make some more subtle changes. First, let me group everything together. I'll make a backup copy and I'll just lock it and hide it. Now I'm gonna convert this to curves and this will make us lose the text options here. That's why I made the backup copy down here if we need to go back to it later. But when we convert these to curves, we'll be able to make much more fine grain adjustments. Now to convert these to curves, I found I had to do it for each warp group individually. So I'll select the bottom warp group. I'll select layer, convert to curves. And now you can see that the letters are a series of points. I'll do that for the other ones. Now with the node tool, you can make fine tuned adjustments. So let's zoom in here. Maybe I don't like the way this E is bending here. It's a little too sharp. Let me select that. Make these smooth curves. Delete that point. A lot of times you wanna make curves smooth to kind of get rid of these sharp points. 
so I can round that out a little bit more. And this phase is just a matter of style, what you like, what you want to change. Once again, I can see some sharp points here. I'll delete one. I'll select all of these, make them smooth. And here we have our final result. If you'd like to see more font videos, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.